Yo, 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 what's really good, University of Miami Hurricane football fans? Your boy Alonzo, one, two, one, nine, aka Hurricane Zo, back in the building. You know what I'm saying? Sipping on a little bit of red wine. I figured I'd do this video real quick. Like, this video is for all the Georgia fans and Uncle Lou. Listen, I'm trying to figure out, right? Now, Uncle Lou, it's not a hate video. It's not a hate video. It's not a. It's not a, um, and even a disrespect video, but it's a video on, like, reality. And what, what bugs me out, what, what bugs me out every time you talk about Miami not being good, every time I think, every time I hear you say that, I just think about 40 years. You know what I'm saying? I think about, like, Georgia haven't won in a national championship in 40 years. 1980, 40 years. So no matter how bad you talk about Miami, no matter how much you hate Miami, Georgia hasn't won a national championship in 40 years. I'm 44. I don't know how old you are. But let's just think about it. The only two teams in the SEC East is Georgia and Florida. That's it. Tennessee has been garbage since T. Martin has been gone. Garbage. South Carolina got better and beat you with Lou Holtz and Steve Spurrier. Missouri came in and won the SEC East twice. Twice. First year in the conference won the SEC East over Georgia. You say Miami hasn't won the ACC. They haven't won the ACC championship since being in the ACC. That's 20 years. You're right. It's almost 20 years, 18, 17 years. You're right. They haven't. They haven't. But they still got five natties and all five I was alive for. All five I can remember. Georgia hasn't won since 1980. So I think we should do something. I think we should send everybody in Athens, everybody at the University of Georgia, all of Uncle Lou videos talking about Miami. Because I at least give, I, I would at least give Uncle Lou this here. He has more he has more energy and more heart in his pinky finger than the University of Georgia ever had. Like they have no heart. Like they have no literally no heart. Like they have had no sanctions. They've had no penalties. They have had top five at the 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 top five recruiting class. But when you won't even go to national championships, y'all second in y'all state to Georgia Tech. <laughs> like, for real, Georgia Tech has won a national championship more recent than Georgia. Georgia's just happy being the girl that did not get invited to the prom. Almost got invited, but didn't get invited. But when she did get invited, she almost came this close to winning prom queen. But she always finished second. Like, and they're happy with that. They're happy with that in Athens. It's okay with being second. You can speak all the ill will you want about Miami. But let's just remember 1980. 1980 was the last time. We keep talking about relevancy. How are you relevant if you're not winning? How are you relevant if you're not winning? How are you having better recruiting classes than LSU? Nobody even wanted 
Ed Orgeron, Ed Orgeron. Nobody even wanted him. People laughed at the hire. And he gets to LSU in, what, two years? But Kirby Smart inherited what at, what, what at Georgia? And he gets to LSU in two years and wins a natty while Georgia still finishes second. 40 years. 40. I think it's about time for Ugga to start eating some oatmeal because there's no more dog treats for Georgia. You can't talk about Miami without talking about five. Last time Georgia was relevant was 1980. And even when they had the chance to win a natty, what did they do? They choked on the bone. They choked on the bone. Gave the game away. They're not ready. They haven't been ready. They may never be ready. You may never, ever, ever see them win in your lifetime. Georgia fans, just enjoy finishing second for the rest of your lives. I'm out.